At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Madam President! Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please? Please? Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please! Madam President! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Activate your skin. Hurry up! Please, Kara, don't... We have to. Strip off, put your clothes in the dumpster.
Come on, this way. Get a move on. You, take this one of a dump. No, no, please, I beg you. I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. Stand by. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Okay, hold your fire. 
Yes, Michael, we are less than 100 meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Stay sharp. Shit! And I'll spare him! Sorry, Connor. This bastard's your spitting image. Alice? I want to get out of here. I was with oh a God, little girl. Please, look, we, we're together. Oh she needs me. about it, it's Kara. Of course Kara got captured too. That's really just too bad, really too bad. Have you seen the little girl who was with me? Obviously, the little girl is a prisoner here, just like Ralph, but Ralph doesn't want to die. No, Ralph doesn't want to die. Do not move and remain silent. Obey now. Ralph doesn't want to die. Ralph doesn't want to die. It would be a pity if Ralph dies. Listen, yeah. it would be a pity. You have to keep calm. Ralph didn't mean Otherwise, harm. Otherwise, hurt you. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I've killed a few humans, but it was in self-defense. Yes, it was in self-defense. Self-defense. Look at me, Ralph. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You just have to stay calm. Okay? Ralph hasn't seen the little girl. No. Ralph hasn't seen her. Jerry? Kara? So they captured you too. They came to take all the Jerry's. They separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Kara, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. Jerry? Jerry? Kara? Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Cora, Alice, are you okay? 
okay? Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Ah! Alice! Carol! I thought I'd never see you again. Alice. Where's Alice? You, you, and you, over this way. And you. Come on, get a move on. Come on, faster. Gotta finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me. Right, that should do it. We all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. No getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive.
Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I... I don't want to shut down. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. 
surrender and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. You don't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this! Forget about me! Do what you have to do! I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. manage without you. Get rid of him, we have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of Don't move! Why don't you ask us something? 
Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. When you hear the signal, you got it. I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. What's behind these doors? They just want to check us. They won't do it. Ralph doesn't want to die. Oh no. Ralph doesn't want to die. It would be a great pity if Ralph died out with us for sure. Great pity. Great pity. Kara! They're going to kill us. I know they're going to... I don't know what's behind those doors. But none of us will come out alive. You've got to go see Alice. You've got to reassure her. RA-9. Have pity on us. Alice! Kara! No, Alice, don't move! But I'm scared! I know you're scared, Alice, but you have to trust me. Stay where you are, okay? Whatever happens, don't move! Don't leave me all alone, Kara! I can't! I can't! I 
I can help you, Kara. I can attract the guard's attention. Of course, Ralph doesn't want to die. But he doesn't want the little girl to die either. Ralph can help you to escape. You only have to ask Ralph, and Ralph will help you. I'll kill you if you try anything. Ralph knows that. But if the little girl is free, it's a little bit like if everyone was free. Ralph isn't scared. The little girl's life's more important. attention. Luther. I won't let them kill you, Carol. I won't let them destroy the only people I love. No, Luther. You can't sacrifice yourself. We'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Live. What's happening down there? We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. 
Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants demonstration by force this time. to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Speak to them, Marcus. T. 
today our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans were both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free.
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. <laughs> 